Alrighty, what's up guys, it's the Wealthy Mongoose, and today we're going to be doing something a little different than usual. Um, we're going to be talking about the big three novels that got me addicted to reading web novels in 2012. Um, <laughs> if you don't remember what was happening in 2012, that's okay, I'll give you a brief rundown. Uh, we were witnessing the rise of modern day social media like Snapchat, Pinterest, and Instagram, but I wasn't really interested in any of that. In 2012, I was what you'd call a closeted otaku, uh, which is now known as being a weeb. Uh, I went to school, I hung out with friends, and I played sports. However, in my free time, all I did was watch anime. Uh, so much anime, in fact, that I ran out of anime to watch. Uh, this was due to a couple of reasons, uh, like a lack of subbed anime and how rampant my binging habits were. And one of the things I hated the most was that a lot of anime lacked a season 2. There were so many good shows on air, however sequels, especially in the anime community, uh, tend to take time. And by time, I mean years. So I was a closet otaku desperate to find something to appease my addiction. And one day I found myself on websites like Bakasuki, Japtem, and even this off-meta thread on an Asian TV review site reading the translations of this guy called RWX. And all this really changed the way I appreciated anime and web novels from that point forward. Uh, this video itself is an homage to my personal top three web novels, or the ancients as I've dubbed them, that not only got me into reading web novels, but made reading one of my favorite pastimes. Alrighty, so coming in at number one on this list, and my first exposure to the web novel world, was the magical action-adventure comedy series Mushoku Tensei. Uh, Mushoku Tensei is a novel revolving around a 34-year-old Neat who is the first to die and be transmigrated by Truck-kun. Yes, this novel is where that comes from. The MC is a pervert who is beyond all salvation, at least initially. And to give some context to this, he worships a pair of his teacher's panties and starts treating them as some sort of sacred object. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit out there. But anyways, due to his reincarnation, he decides to live his life to the fullest with no regrets. And so he's reborn as the perverted, yet good-looking baby, Rudius Greyrat. The world building and character building in this novel is one of the best I've ever seen in a JP novel hands down. You will slowly fall in love with the characters the further into the story you go, and this is one of the things that made me enjoy this series so much. Uh, Mushiko Tensei also has a solid ending, which is about as rare as finding a five-leaf clover in a field while blindfolded, especially for JP novels. Overall, this is a must-read and should be preserved as a sacred text. For any JP web novel lover. It also has an anime which will be airing very soon and I'm extremely excited for. God, please don't ruin it like Ari Ferretta. Anyways, coming in second on this list is The Legendary Moonlight Sculptor, or LMS for short. It was the first Korean web novel I'd ever read, and also the first VR MMO I'd ever read, and it was being translated on a small site called Japtem. Back in the day, Japtem was like modern day web novel, and I'm talking about the website, not actual web novels, except for everything on the site was free. And not only did I love everything about Japtem, I loved everything about Lee Hyun, who is the main character of this series. From his slyness, cheapness, and money grubbing habits, to the supporting cast of characters that brought his world and his sculptures to life, Lee Hyun is a legendary gamer who used to play an MMO called Continent of Magic and grinded his way to having the best gear, the best character, and the highest level across all the servers. Lee Hyun, who was in dire need of money to support his family, sold his account and then had most of his money taken away from him by loan sharks. Uh, with his remaining sum of cash, Lee Hyun decided to see if he could make it being a dark gamer playing the new VR MMO that had just come out called Royal Road. This series is one of the best gaming series I've ever read, and I would highly recommend the series to anyone. This is one of my favorite novels of all time, and you guys should definitely check it out. Coming in third on this list, and a novel that I really want to pay homage to, is Coiling Dragon. 
it was the first Chinese novel that I had the pleasure of reading. And when I first started reading Coiling Dragon, it wasn't being posted onto what many now know as Wuxia World or Wuxia World, but on a place called SPCNet Forums, which was originally intended to be a review site for Asian TV shows. And it was being translated by a Wuxia novel enthusiast known by the moniker RWX. And RWX is a legend in his own right, but I'll get into that for a different video. The novel, Coiling Dragon, and its main character, Linley, are two of the progenitors of modern-day Xianxia translations. It has all the iconic things you might expect from a Xianxia. There is a power grind, cultivating, face-slapping, arrogant young masters, and godlike powers. Coiling Dragon is a great novel for anyone who is a beginner at reading Chinese novels, because it doesn't deal with any of the more confusing topics of cultivation, like Kui. Um, the series itself will always hold a special place in my heart, and the hearts of many, for being the first Xianxia ever completely translated into English. The story revolves around the main character Linli Baruch of the Baruch clan, who are known for their draconic bloodline. Linli is tested and determined to be trash until he finds the Coiling Dragon Ring and meets Grandpa Doa Ring, thus beginning his epic cultivation journey. This is an iconic series, and if you haven't read it yet, you should. This is where it all started, so what better place to begin your web novel journey than the origin of it all? And that is the three web novels that got me addicted to reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's my first time doing a video that is scripted. And I would love some feedback on the quality of how it turned out. Once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this kind of content. And I will see you guys next time.